Are you struggling right now to master your handstand, to really get that handstand? You know that feeling, you're just trying to hold it up in the air and you just can't do it. You might even try to do the technique where you, you practice against the wall and stuff like that, you just can't get it. Well, odds are, and I've gone through that same thing myself and trying to master my handstand, is you're probably making one, at least one of these three mistakes we're gonna be sharing with you in today's video. Now, the cool thing is, once you start to fix just maybe even one or two of these three mistakes, you could unlock that handstand or improve the handstand that you have, you know, be able to hold it longer and really hit that nice, pretty looking handstand. Now, these three mistakes are ones that I was personally making, like I was talking about before, years past, and it wasn't until training with some circus performers, professional acrobats, gymnasts, that I uh, learned about these mistakes and was able to fix them. Now, in this video, we're just covering these mistakes and how you can fix them. If you want a full in-depth program on how to master your handstand, uh, we're gonna talk about a resource that covers that and other feats of strength like V-sit, uh, human flag, things like that. We'll talk about that later at the end of this video. So make sure to watch all the way through. Now, the first mistake, and this one was really big one for me. This one's all about the hands here, okay? A lot of people neglect this. I did, I did this, even when I had my handstand, I neglected this and it, it was a game changer, right? I picked this one up from, his name's Modern Tarzan, professional acrobat. If you go on his Instagram, he's one of the best hand balancers I've ever seen and he does it from insane heights and things like this. But the trick is, okay, a lot of people when they're doing their handstand, the hands seem like, you know, a small portion of it, but a lot is going on here. This is your foundation point here. And this is the mistake here, putting all the weight in the palm here, okay, in this area of your hand. It's very common to do that. It's a natural thing because it's, you know, a big surface area. So you're gonna place the palms there. But when you do that, you're neglecting a lot of the balancing point, a lot of the adjustments you can make with your balance because you need to be able to use your fingers and your palms basically as a counterbalance here, okay? So you need the pressure, the aim for that pressure on the knuckles area of your hand here. So you create this balancing point here. See, if you put the weight in the palm, all you have is the fingers here. You don't have that balance point to, to push back. Mistake number two. Now, me and Thomas switched it up real quick. Now, this second mistake is one that we picked up from Fanny Keurig. This is when we were in the Lone Star Circus doing corporate shows and things like that. And one of the things she taught us was this around here. So, a big mistake a lot of people make is not pushing out with the shoulders, not straightening and pushing out as far as you can with the shoulders. I remember Fanny was like, push out, push out. She's, she was French and she was really good about forcing us to get into that position. Because if we don't push out with the shoulders like this, that here's what's gonna happen. So in a, in a good handstand, we wanna really push out. So we wanna be here and then push out to straighten. If we don't do that, if our shoulder joint is bending like this, like if it's bending like this, what this means is that the rest of our technique is now gonna get out of whack because we're having to move our hips in a different area, our shoulders are moving forward, and it makes it where we're then having to use a lot more strength, where if we're straight and locked out, we're bounced over the top of our hands, we're, and we're not having to use that much strength. If, if this shoulder joint is bent, and we're not locked out and straight, then that means we're having to support a lot more weight with our arms and muscles and shoulders, so it makes it a lot harder to hold, and we can't really get into that locked out position because if we straighten the rest of our body, we can't hold it. You have to overcompensate by moving the body in a banana shape. So you'll see people when they banana out and different things like that, it's because their shoulders aren't locked out. So the mistake number two is not locking out their shoulders. So you really want to push out, really think about pushing your shoulders to your ears and being straight. Handstand mistake number three is not keeping your butt tight and your core tight. Okay, big one here. We picked this one up, a guy who really harped on the core and, and focusing on this was Frankleton Gray. Frank Gray, he's been on the channel before, very talented gymnast and gymnast instructor. And this is all about keeping your body nice and rigid, okay? When you engage the core and the butt, 
you're going to engage and lock your body in alignment here. And that's what's going to keep you nice and rigid and make the handstand 10 times easier. So I'll show you a cool demo here with some props. You take this, okay? This is how your body's supposed to be when you tighten the core and you tighten the butt here. And you're going to be holding and notice how much easier it is to balance something that is rigid like this opposed to when your core is not tight and your butt's not tight and you're just a little floppy like noodle thing like this sock you're just not going to be able to hold that handstand you're going to fall over it whichever direction and you're not going to be able to use the tips we talked about earlier with the hands and stuff because your body's not rigid so you're not going to have any control okay so don't be a floppy sock be a nice flat and stiff spatula all right all right, so those were the three mistakes that you must avoid if you want to get that handstand down. So start fixing those, and I guarantee you're going to see improvements with that handstand. Now, if you want a full training program, so you want exercise, you want workouts, you want more drills and stuff like that, then click the link down in the description. This is going to take you to our bodyweight bundle extreme. So not only does this have our handstand training manual and, and demo videos, it also has the V-sit. Uh, front lever, back lever, the human flag, the one-arm pull-up, one-arm push-up. So a ton of different body weight feats that you can pick up. Now this is going to be only going to be there for a limited time, so be sure to check that out right now. Now if you get there too late, we'll probably give you a free resource or something. Uh, so just check that out right now if you can. Now, uh, we're also going to have something cool. We haven't really been doing this, but we're going to add a comment down. We're going to pin a comment and we're going to be asking you a question and uh, whoever has the best reply, we're actually going to give this bundle to you for free. So be sure to go down, uh, check out the comment that we pinned down below, respond to it, and you may get a free bundle out of it. So thanks again for joining us in this video. If you're not a part of our channel yet, join the fun, subscribe right now. And uh, if you have any other comments or anything, put them in the comment section below, and we'll see you in the next video.